This recipe is hot, hot, hot. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going outdoors and I'm going to use my barbecue to make a delicious tangri kebab. Now tangri really just means a leg and it's the leg of a chicken that is made in three different ways. It's made using a creamy cheesy marinade and that's what I'm making today. It's also known as kalmi kebab but tangri kebab can also be red and that is a tandoori preparation as well as a hara green color which is a coriander preparation. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I upload a ton of videos every week. Also, ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. I'm going to start with some hung yogurt. This is simply yogurt that has had all the water drained out of it and it's great to use with recipes for the grill. I have a bowl here and a sieve over it and I'm going to place an inexpensive cheesecloth over this and I fold it over so it's double. Add one cup of yogurt to this cloth and I'm going to pick up the sides and I'm just going to give it a gentle squeeze. This is going to drain all of the water out. I'm going to leave this aside to drain until I need it. I'm also going to roast one teaspoon of gram or chickpea flour. This is called chana ka atta or besan in Hindi and it's widely available in Indian stores. This fine flour will start to change color and leave a nutty taste. Next, I'm gonna work on the drumsticks. This is good for about 10 to 12 drumsticks. If you buy your drumsticks with the skin on, it's really easy to take this off. Use a dry cloth or I prefer some kitchen paper towel and just yank the skin off. I'm going to make slits or gashes in this chicken horizontally. Not only will this cook faster on the grill, but it will also allow the marinade to get right into those slits, giving this a more tasty surface area. This is going to be marinated twice. The first time with the juice of a lime, salt, and one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste. Let this rest for about 30 minutes. While it rests, I will prepare the second and more exciting marinade. Remember that hung yogurt? Look how much water it drained out. I'm going to add this to a bowl, followed by a half cup of grated cheese, two teaspoons of minced green chili, and I'm going to mix this up. Next, I'm going to add a half teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to mix this in and add a half teaspoon of red chili powder. I'm using Kashmiri red chili powder. It gives you a really nice color without the heat. A half teaspoon of turmeric and a half teaspoon of dried fenugreek, also known as kasuri methi. Rubbing these leaves between your fingers release the fragrance. Add salt to taste and the gram flour I roasted earlier. Because the flour is so fine, I like to just brush this off using a pastry brush. Mix this well together 
I'm also going to add three tablespoons of cream to thin out the marinade. It's time to pour this over my chicken and massage it in. I'm preparing some oil to baste my chicken. Some people like to use butter, ghee, or just regular oil. I'm using mustard oil and I'm also going to add in some dried fenugreek or kasuri methi. On to my hot grill, these tangari kebabs go. Depending on the temperature of your oven, these will need to be cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes. Baste this in between with that lovely mustard oil. Flip these over till they are well cooked on all sides. I've got some fresh mint growing in my garden at this time of year, so I'm going to use it to garnish these babies together with some coriander. I'm serving these restaurant style today with a piece of foil at the end so you can easily pick this up without getting your hands dirty. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe. It's tried and tested and my boys love it. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I hope to hit 50,000 subscribers this year, so do help me get there. Also, ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me behind the scenes. I upload tons of footage to my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. I would love to hear from you. Do take care, guys. Bye.